Hi guys, welcome back to my experience guide. Now I'm gonna review Chubi. So Chubi is a dual wielder. So let's compare her to Lauren because she is also a dual wielder and Chubi is also a breaker. That's why Lauren is the good comparison for her. A2 here only act as, yeah, because they are on the same banner and also A2 is a little bit flexible. 2B is also flexible, but I think in terms of flexibility on offensive power, A2 is the winner. Okay, so let's take a look. If you take a look on the attack stats, 205, so 2B is the highest here with 170% attack boost. Okay, so that's pretty high. 20% lower than Lauren, but remember, Lauren need to equip her Trust Master Reward, which already take one of her ability slot okay so which one is better i let you to decide about the attack stats for defensive capabilities like you can see that 2b get 50 percent defense and 40 percent spirit higher than lauren so pretty good survivability not only that 2b has a chance to ignore fatal damage 80 percent so that's quite big when her health is above 10 percent so yes pretty good because remember, 2B also able to cast uh, Auto Revive on herself. So yeah, this Fatal Damage Protection is really good for her. Also, she has 20% Physical Evasion. Yes, that's good. So you can, maybe you can build her into 100% Dodge if you want. And 10% chance to evade magic if it's too small to be useful. And for offensive capabilities, she also learned 100% Machine Killer on 6 stars, same like A2, but this will be upgraded to 150% on her 7 stars form. So yes, pretty good. On her 7 stars, she gets 100% through Double Hand. Yes, that's good. But compared to A2, A2 get 250% uh, Fake Double Hand, but remember, that you need to equip her weapon to activate this so it doesn't matter even when she has 100% true double hand because if you because yeah future's contract is one-handed weapon so if you unequip it then tada you will lose and seven percent and gen a little yeah two percent higher than average but the most important thing about your uh trust master reward for trash ability is the upgrade LB. This upgrade LB is a crucial thing for 2B, okay? You must equip Virtus contract, okay? And yes, because he she has innate dual wield on her 7 stars form, she gets 50% true double wield, true dual wield, which is same like Lauren, okay? So pretty good. And also, she gets increased damage modifier to her avoid attack and extract speed. It is good, but I think those abilities are not usable. Basically, it is usable, but kind of inferior in 7 stars era because no one can chain with those attack unless you have a copy of 2B. And yeah, she has bled with quite volition, but that's kind of useless because it is only 10% not, use not that useless, okay? Because it is physical damage mitigation not general damage mitigation but 2b is not a tanker and 10 percent maybe not that high okay so good but not something whoa special okay just normal thing enough about her stats now let's take a look on her abilities i won't talk about her six stars abilities because i think they are bad because i have said that no one able to chain with those and basically they are only damage and nothing special really but on her 7 stars form, she gets few interesting abilities. Okay, the first cooldown ability is Supreme Support Weapon. So it has 7 turns cooldown. Yes, it is insane. But it is available from first turn. Okay. The good thing about this skill is it increases your attack and defense insane. Insanely, okay. 250% attack and defense. Whoa, only 50% more to reach the cap and it will unlock the true 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 skills of her avoid attack through charge blade through charge spear through charge vault but i think the biggest thing from this cooldown is it will break 70 percent 
all enemies stats for three turns. Yes, that's amazing. This is kind of like Lorraine's cooldown ability. I forgot the name. Okay, Lorraine cooldown ability name is wait, wait. Let me check it. Yeah, General's Manifesto. So yeah, the effect is same, seventy percent break. But Lorraine doesn't increase your uh, attack stats. Doesn't unlock any new skill. But Lauren skill is boosting her own faster LBV rate. That's good for Lauren, but for 2B, it is bad because she doesn't have that faster LBV rate passive. And yeah, you will see later that 2B is also kind of like Lauren, who needs to use her LB frequently. So that's kind of downer if you want to use 2B as, an, as a breaker. But if you want to use her as an attacker, then this is very good, okay, because attack defense boost is insane. And next cooldown ability, your Sword Dance. It deals 15 times lightning physical damage. Yes, it is quite high. It also breaks 50% of all enemy stats. So it is available on the four turn, okay? Just right when the supreme support weapon breaks over. So yeah. This is good. So you basically simply use Supreme Support Weapon. When the break effect is gone, then you use your Harsh Word Dance. Yes, I know it is slower than 70%, but 50% is quite decent. And also maybe you have filled your LB Gauge. So you can use your LB instead of this your Harsh Word Dance. It also unlock another skills, okay? The good thing about this skills about your harsh word dance is you can chain this with graviton cannon so graviton cannon there are not many characters who learn this on the global yet but uh alice priest able to do this graviton cannon move okay so if you have alice priest you just got a chaining partner for her and finally let's talk about the unlock skill by these two cooldown ability the first is avoid attack so this is yeah a normal attack from her six stars ability six stars form okay basically nine times damage but it doesn't have any chaining partner so bad move through charge blade it yeah it is also bad because it cannot be chained it increased lb gouge by three lb but really not that important i guess i believe that Correct chaining will give you more LB crystals than this one. And next, true charge spear. This will imbue lightning element to your attack. Okay, so this is really good if you equip, let's say, Virtuous Contract and Igaian Arm because you don't have an element on your attack. Okay, and again, Stardust Ray is a new move. Okay, so I'm not sure who able to chain with this maybe in the future we will get the info but right now there's no one who can chain with stardust rate okay next is true charge fault this is also op okay not that op but it imperil 100 lightning resist so you will double your damage output from your hazard dance so after using supreme support weapon Simply attack the enemy, and before you use your Hasword Dance on the fourth turn, use True Charge for first, so you will deal double amount of damage when using your Hasword Dance. And also, yeah, your Hasword Dance will unlock your Has Slaughter Dance. This will break 60% of enemies' attack and magic, so you can easily maintain your break after mm, using your Hasword Dance. Okay, so pretty good 60% is quite high good as a placeholder until you able to use your LB or your supreme support weapon again also this attack can be chained with graviton cannon so really if you have LS Priest then 2B is really good and finally her LB so her LB is like Loren okay which will break the enemy stats by 74% the good thing about this is you don't need to level up this okay? because on the level 1, it already breaks enemy stats by 74%. So yes, pretty decent. Okay, but the bad thing about 2B LB, it is not the LB that bad, okay, but 
it is the other skills. Lauren has innate 100, 100 or 150% faster LB rate. I don't remember exact number, but you get it, okay? Lauren will have easier time to fill her LB gauge, unlike 2B. Also, Lauren cooldown ability uh, able to buff her LB fill rate by 200%. So, really, filling Lauren LB is really easy. But for 2B, you really need to rely on other characters. If you have other characters that can buff faster LB fill rate for 2B, then this is good. But if not, then you may have a little bit problem on gathering LB crystals to use this LB. Also, this LB used 28 LB crystals, which is 2 LB crystals lower than Loren. Loren's LB, okay, so both have their strength and weakness, but as a breaker, I think I prefer Loren because Loren has arms eraser, armor eraser, so if you, let's say you need to dispel the enemy buff, then need to reapply your breaks, then Loren is more reliable because on 2B, like you can see that her breaks lock behind uh, cooldown abilities and RB. Enough about abilities, now let's talk about her equipment. So her equipment, you need to equip Virtus Contract because yes, I have said this, you want to have that LB upgraded. Without it, oh my god, 2B is not that good because really, I think she was made into a breaker and attacker hybrid. Okay, so cut her, cut one of her best breaking ability, kinda butcher her, okay? And the secondary weapon, it is up to you, but let's say if you want to make her into breaker, then you need to search for faster LBP red weapon. That's why I recommend you to equip Aigayan Arm because Aigayan Arm has innate 100% faster LBP rate. So this will put her about on par with Lorraine because Lorraine unable to equip Fist. So yeah, about 100%, 150%. I don't remember the exact number, okay? And for the rest, simply focus on her attack. Okay, for abilities, focus on attack and faster LBP rate. You can search for Heroes Foe Dark, which increase your attack uh, highly, 60% if I if I remember correctly, and your 50 and 50% faster LBP rate. So pretty decent trust master. Okay, so I think that's all you need to know about equipment. Actually. There's a one build, okay? Maybe you say fixed dice, fixed dice. Yes, I understand you want to use fixed dice, but remember that for true double hand build, she is not like A2. A2 able to double cast her ability, so true dual, true, true double hand build won't hurt her, but to be, oh my god, she cannot do double cast, okay? I'm not sure whether. One, uh, I mean, fixed dice 2B is still powerful, but I leave you guys to that, okay? My conclusion for 2B, yes, is a good character because she can break really well like Lauren, but still, in my opinion, she is inferior than Lauren in terms of breaking the enemy's attack, okay? In terms of offensive power, 2B maybe win against Lauren, but for now, I can say that they are kind of equal because 2B only have one chaining partner, LS Pris. But Lauren, there are many characters who are able to cast Aurel Ray. And I forget, okay, what other skills are Yeah, yeah, Onion Slice. Yes, I know Onion Slice is hard to chain, but still, that's still a possibility for Lauren. Then also the good thing about 2B is she able to imbue lightning element or have innate lightning element on herself. So. Mm, using non-elemental weapon won't hurt or won't prevent her from do elemental chain. Okay, so for her Trashmaster reward, it is good katana. Yes, it is weaker than Onimaru and Masamune, but remember it is free from the raid event. Simply form the Trashmogul diligently from the raid. For Super Trashmaster reward, it is good, okay? You can get... Mm, 80% boost, but you need to equip sword, katana, or spear. That means you cannot equip Aigayan arm. Okay, it is up to you to decide. But the skill 
or not to be is kind of bad. Okay, instant KO or 4.8 times damage, nothing useful, I guess. Okay, also the extra damage against human is really good. And I think I can only give her maybe 9 to 9.5, maybe 10, maybe 10 if you have LS Priest. But really, guys, if you have obtained Loren, I don't see any need to pull for 2B, okay? Maybe you are really like near Automata, so that's all up to you. 2B is not a bad thing, but really I I choose Loren over her, okay? 9.5 out of 10, make her Loren. So yep, I think that's all you need to know about 2B. Thank you very much for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more Final Fantasy. For FX Views Guide. Bye-bye, guys.